Hey, it's Tom from Texas, and welcome to another floppy deep dive. Hey, it's Tom from Texas, and it's time for another floppy deep dive. And tonight, we're going to be playing some games on the Amiga 500. Uh, as you know, I just got my Amiga 500, and I've never played any of the Amiga games before. So I'm going to be checking them out for the first time. I had someone send me a few games to try. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe, and let's get started. I want to show you guys... Uh, I got some games sent to me, and I'm, I haven't had any luck getting those started. So I'm hoping if I make a video and show you guys what it's doing, maybe y'all can guide me and give me some uh, tips of how I can get these working because I've not got anything to work yet with these games that were sent to me. I got three of them that I'm trying to see if I could get them to work. So, I got, let's see here if I can see what screen I'm at. So I got Fire and Ice that I was going to try out. I got something called Agony that I'm going to try out. And I have one more. I could see where I laid those <laughs> floppies. Um, we'll get back to those. So anyway, let's just try this fire and ice. I want y'all to see what it's doing and then see if y'all can give me some guidance. Um, Cause so far everybody's been just so responsive and so supportive of me in this journey of trying to live my Amiga life uh, now here in 2021. And so far I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, glad that the memory in here is still working. Oh, here's the other one. And then I got something, if I have for the camera, called Super, Super Frog? Super Frog. So I'm gonna give that a shot too. So let me show you the first one. And I was told it's best just to shut it off. So I'm gonna shut off the Amiga, which I'm still getting used to the, it being on the power supply, which is just odd to me. <laughs> But I guess if it was up on the table or close to me, but mine's down on the floor. So it's just weird that every time I have to bend over and <laughs> turn the power off and on. And uh, I want to power it down correctly. I hope I am like the Commodore and the 128. You just shut it off. And I hope that I'm not doing anything wrong with the Amiga by doing that. But anyway, like I said, let's give this, I'm gonna put the fire and ice in here. And I want to show you guys, uh, what it's experienced. So I get the gray, the two different grays, which I'm told is great. You know, you want to get the two different grays. And this screen comes up, which is great. Looks like everything's working there. I just want to get it started and everything. I can change this and move this around. Not really the, what I'm trying to do here. So let's just see if I can get it loaded. Comes to this screen here which is awesome. It says left mouse for normal, right mouse for trainer. I just want it to load normal. So I'm just gonna click that button. Had a little jumbly jumping up and down, a little red there. It goes to this screen here and it gets so far and then it just, it just stops. So the screen turns black. I still got my power light on, the drive light stops. It's, it's not even running, but I get nothing coming up on my screen. It's just completely dark. And I'm not sure where to try next here, guys. So, like I said, this is all new to me. So, so if you've got an idea of what this possibly is doing, uh, I just wanna try to troubleshoot and hopefully someone can give me an idea where to go next because this is what happens every time. One time I did get the guru meditation, which is the first time I ever saw that, but I hear that's very common in the Amiga world. And uh, I love this little, little inside stuff for all the Amiga in that guru meditation where that came from. But anyway, it's, uh, this is all it does. It stops here. I can't do anything. I can't push any buttons. Um, it doesn't tell me to switch disc and put in the other disc, but I can, but nothing. Nothing happens, it's, it's just frozen. And the screen's black, and I'm not really sure, I'm not really sure why. So, 
Let's shut this one off and I'll show you another one that I'm trying. So the next one I'm going to put in here is Super Frog. And I'll show you what this one does. Again, gray. Gray, I was told, is good. Because I've learned these colors mean stuff. My power light right now is flashing. The drive light's green. Okay, the power light's still flashing. Ooh, here's that guru meditation that I got. So, 00CB1570. If I push the left mouse button to continue. I now, this time I got it to come up. Something that says crystal, so that's good. That's farther along. I got this the box spin in here. So I'm just pushing my left mouse button. So the power lights just blank the drive. Oh, accessing disk. I think this is actually further than I've ever got. And like I said, the power lights blank, the drives blank. Got some eyeballs going on here. Hey, it's Super Frog. Look how low my screen is. I think that's something to do with my adapter. I haven't really got this far for something in the loading, so I'm actually kind of excited that works. Accessing a disc. And here we go. Must be in demo mode. But I've never got it to load before. I don't have any sound, so that's normal because I haven't hooked anything up because I've never got this far. Check out the graphics of the Amiga though. Wow, so this is the way it looked back in 87? No wonder you guys love this. Wow. That's incredible for 87. I was still playing my Commodore 64, which I love, but wow. How cool is that? I need to get a joystick plugged in here, I think. Let's see if I can get what I got close by. Super Frog. I'm like super excited. This is, I swear, the first time I got anything to load. Thank God I was doing the video. I'm gonna figure out how to raise that screen on that monitor. Wonder if it ever actually lets me play the game. Start game. Yeah, there we go. It's so loud. Is the drive always that loud or is it just my drive? I'm just so impressed with the graphics. I mean, I've always heard that that's, that's the thing about the Mega, but wow. Uh oh. Oh, I just said that. World 1. Kind of got a Mario World type thing going on. Oh, well, that wasn't good. I gotta get me some sound now, guys. Can I jump through here? Nope. All right, let's just figure out the controls. Does this guy like me? Nope. Very. Sonic like kind of reminds me of speaking of hedgehogs how cool is that probably thinking dang this guy sucks but I'm more interested in just looking at it I'm just so impressed with how pretty it is just great graphics Dang, if I saw this in 87, all I saw was the bouncy ball. I never saw really the games. Not sure why this never really took off in America, the Amiga. I know it was huge over in Europe. You guys got to play the coolest games. Look at this. But I did get to play a game at least. That's better than farther and more that I've got to do on the Amiga. And see my first Amiga game live here is just wow. Graphics just amazing. I so missed out in '87. There's actually four there, so there's a lot to that Super Frog. Let's see if I get the Meditation Guru again, or if I can get as far along as I did last time. Oh, I went straight to Crystal this time, so that's good. 
got my spinny box. Disc request insert disc one. What? I don't got disc one in there. Let's see. Two, three, four, four. So this is disc one. So maybe it's having problems reading the disc. So this is disc one. So I'm trying to find the camera. This is disc one, so I think it's just having issues reading these discs for some reason. I'm gonna put it back in there. Press fire like it told me to. Yay, super frog. So this one's actually working kinda sorta. I have a little bit of issues with it. Yeah, this works. This one. Up. Ooh, too far. There we go. That looks pretty good. I get comfy in my chair. See what I can do. Those magic wood. It is gorgeous. I'm gonna do world one. So was Super Frog before Sonic or after Sonic? Because I definitely can tell somebody's ripping off somebody. Alright guys, found some cables. This is why you never throw anything away. And your big box of cables, I, I'm sure we all have. Huge box of cable. But I found some red and white. Going to red and white RCA. So let's see if I can get some speakers going on this Amiga. It's nice when you find those old cables that you got in a box you haven't touched in 20 years. and pull them out and have a reason for them. And then the nice adapter that I got for my Commodore, which is this one here, this adapter that I got a video about, is perfect because then I just plug those two RCAs directly in to this, my computer speakers, and boom, we've got sound a hard time reading disc. I'm starting to think I need to clean my disc heads um, on my drive. So I might be having to open up this Amiga after all. Yeah, now all of a sudden I can't read the disc. So that makes me believe my drive disc head is dirty. I think we're moving along this time. So yeah, the fact is, I don't know if it's the disc or the disc heads. But to me, it seems like my disc heads might be dirty. Let's hear the sound. Love it. I 
at least I know my sound chip works. today guys uh, we got the game up and working and I got to have my first gaming experience on the Amiga which was awesome and I got the sound hooked up so luckily I had the cables like I said everybody has their big box of cables that you always never know when you're going to use it well today was my day I had the right cables to hook up the sound so got the sound going got the game going and everything's just awesome so hope you liked the video if you did please subscribe and we'll see you next time on floppy deep dive